Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to day... <laughs> sorry. Welcome back to Dream Day Wedding Married in Manhattan. We are continuing as we are getting close to the end. So let's go back to the heirloom stationery. There we go. Back to the subway station, or the subway itself, subway train. Oh, I'm trapped in the subway train. <laughs> because I pulled the emergency brake. Okay. Flyers. Nothing plus fifty minus twenty. Plus more people. Twelve hundred plus fifty minus ten plus four equals. So if I'm correct, that equals one. Oh, needs to be fixed. Oh. Needs the third key. There's a third key. There we go. And there we go. The train is going again. <clears throat> Way to go, train! <laughs> I got locked in! Okay. So with that, back to the storefront of the travel store. We have to find 14 arrows. There is the Find out more about the story. Here we go. Yay, they're engaged. The Memento, Coney Island, Ravioli Recipe, or the New York City Transit Authority. I'm gonna go with the Ravioli Recipe. <laughs> I like to eat too. cooking class or rev I'm gonna go with the incident this will probably be good postpone due to <laughs> gonna go with the food fight 
doesn't love a good food fight. Okay, dinner ready around 7.30. Jason arrived at 7. She got frustrated. Jason ate some chips and she flung dough at him. <laughs> oh, that's adorable! <laughs> Propose to someone after you get in a food fight with them. That is the dream. Okay, another time booster item. It's a ring box. Pencil sharpener. Another pencil. Sharpen. Okay, the fax is ready. Make out the list. Okay. Photo design, Central Park, and Sabrina's. Let's get this thing started. Central Park. And Photo Design Studio. <laughs> Definitely say the previous cuff the previous couple was more than likely meant for me to do first because the second couple with Emily was more intense. <laughs> there we go. It was fun, but it was tricky. And honeymoon has been unlocked. on a show really you're going to take a bride's dress onto a show and leave the bride hanging 
Sorry, but I have to follow my dreams. Well, yeah, but if the dress is already bought and paid for, it's... Oh, that's that's really messed up. For rent. Space is for rent. Hilo Hollywood, here I come. Wish me luck. With only one dress. Okay. Let me try to sort this out. Okay. I subverted. Guys, if you ever come into a situation, and I, I usually don't talk about things like this, but if you ever get into a situation where you're going to have, you know you're going to have to bail on someone, make sure that whatever they paid for gets to them. That's only fair to the customer. In this case, I know it's it's fictional, but a lot of times in fictional games, you can find really good examples of real-life instances that you can learn from. And in this instance, uh, it's, it's not good that the seamstress took the woman's dress to Hollywood with her because that was the only thing she had. And the bride is left without a dress. So again, I don't, I don't like to be critical of other people, but um, that doesn't that doesn't seem fair to me. I don't know if I should go between one shoulder or this. I like this. I like the collar. It looks nice. White. It's the best option. Let's go with that. Yes, there's that is how quite a few people would have felt, Emily. My day is doomed. How could this have happened? It's not something you want to do to other people. Okay, let's get their honeymoon area ready. Okay. <laughs> stress free, stress free for you guys. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. Oh, that cake turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> oh, that is an amazing dress. She looks like royalty there. It's a flower girl and the ring bearer. Oh, 
thank you, Rachel and Nate and Emily and Jason. Magic in Manhattan. So, as I said in a, a previous episode, Rachel and Nate were the elegant couple, couple, and Emily and Jason were more rustic, countryside, simple. <laughs> I remember, I remember this, uh, the dogs crashing the wedding, um, not the wedding itself, but the bridal store. This is nice. This is a good game. Okay, so that is the ending of a Dream Day Wedding Married in Manhattan. Uh, we finished both Rachel and Nate, Emily and Jason. I suggest you guys go back and look at uh, the Rachel and Nate episodes, as well as go back, well, go forward actually, and look at the Dream Day Wedding Viva Las Vegas because the Las Vegas one takes place after this one but I recorded uh, Viva Las Vegas before this one so you will see Las Vegas first and then you'll see this so I am all out of order and hopefully I'll be able to get Dream Day Wedding, the very first one, the one that is uh, referred to in um, both of the games, Las Vegas and Manhattan, with Jenny and her groom. If I'm not able to, then I'll skip ahead to the honeymoon and then they buy a house. Uh, so that might be a mess when it all comes down to it, but... I'm hope I'm hoping it's all going to be fun, even if I don't have some backstory. If I play just the honeymoon and then they're buying their first house, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy playing hidden object games. I hope you guys enjoy watching them. I apologize that these are boring, um, but I really love the art and I really love the simplicity of the story and what's going on and the crisis and the art involved in the design. Uh, in the scenery whenever there's a crisis just totally wrecking the places it's just it's just interesting to me so again thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video whichever one that may be uh, so bye guys <laughs>